What's up you guys? In this video I want to show you all of the chests in the crypt that have guaranteed stuff for Noob Saibot, which is one of the coolest looking character in MK. You can't go wrong with those chests that I'm going to show you, because the items inside are fixed permanently, so they are always there, no matter what. Anyways, let's get on with it. We will start it off at the warrior shrine with his head chest. That's the one. Good stuff! If you want that loot from this chest, then all you need to do is 25 fatalities in the classic towers against Noob Saibat and you will get his severed head for the shrine. Right, moving on to the next one. It's in Shansung's palace. So that's the throne room and the chest is located behind this door, which opens after you impale all of the severed heads at the warrior shrine. That's the one you're looking for, it's in the corner. As you can see, it's a great chest, worth the effort of getting it. I understand that getting the severed heads can be a bit of a grind, however, there is a way to farm them fast. Please have a look at my tutorial, best way to farm heads, link is in the description below. If you follow that guide, you will get them in no time. Alrighty, let's get to the next chest, it's located in the Deadwoods. And first, you will have to lift the chest from the water, paying with green souls. It used to cost 3000 of them, but I think it cost less now, after the game was patched up. So the chest will pop up, it might be pricey, however if you look at the content, well, it contains a lot of skins. Nice ones for Scorpion and Noob Saibat. Just so you know, you might want to check out my tutorials how to quickly farm coins, souls and hearts. They might come in handy if you want to open those chests as soon as. Now for the rest of the chests for Noob Saibat, they will be in the Goro's Lair, so let's get in there. And don't worry, I will be showing you those locations on the map, so we can easily navigate them. Okay, we're in the dining hall. By the table, turn right, go up the little stairs and all the way down this corridor. If there is a closed gate right here, just pull down this chain to open it. Enter the passage and right after the corner there will be your Shao Kahn chest for Noob Saibat. Now let me show you what's inside of it. That's a really good stuff that includes brutality. Now if you look on the left, there is a path to our final destination, which will be located in the infamous lower pit. So go up and take the elevator. Once again, it's located right here on the map. Alright, so we're going straight out of the cavern to the lower pit. There will be flaming chest waiting for us. Okay, there it is. Now all you need to do is smash the lantern that is connected to the chest, it will put out the fire and will let you open it. That lantern is located nearby in the same area. That lantern has got a fixed location, so it will also be there all the time. There it is. You see there is a button prompt. So let's break it. There you go. Sorted. 
Now we get back to the chest to see what's in it for Noob Saibat. Okay, this one is not fully dedicated to Noob Saibat. As you can see again, his loot is combined with scorpions. However, this is the guaranteed place where you get Noob Saibot's very cool looking mask. Plus, you get the time crystals. And that's the map for the area. Alright, that's all of the guaranteed loot for Noob Saibat. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos about MK11 Crypt. I've done quite a few guides and tutorials about it. If you're struggling to make a progress, you may find them very helpful. Please subscribe, leave a like, and don't be shy, make a comment, I usually reply to all of them. Alright, have a good one, see you next time, bye for now.